What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is super easy effect. It's going to be a very fast video, but nonetheless, still very useful. We're going to be talking about creating this easy star filter effect here. If you look closely, uh, whenever there's a flash of lights, you can see that here it is right there as well. There's actually two ways you can do this. You can do this in camera by placing some sort of prism filter on the end of your lens, but you can also easily do this within Adobe Premiere just with a couple of steps. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Slap a like if you do. It helps me a huge amount with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment what you'd like to see next. So we're going to get started here after a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is dedicated to helping you learn something new. It's easy to develop new skills with their curated classes. Check out the wide variety of topics you can learn here. Everything from web development, editing, productivity, and more. Skillshare even recommends classes based on your interests. Recently, I've been watching this YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD. It's really great to see a professional give a different perspective, and it's been and helping me pick up some tips on improving my own content. I love the ease of use of the platform as well as the course projects that you can choose to follow along with if you'd like. If you guys are interested, check out the link at the top of my description to learn more. I'm going to be using royalty free footage from pexels.com. So if you'd like to follow along, just click the link down below. All right, guys. So once you have your footage within Adobe Premiere, all you need to do is go down to your effects and presets. I'm in the color workspace. So for me, it's in the bottom left. If you're in the editing workspace, you're going to see it over here on the right. Go ahead and just search for the directional blur effect. So it's right here under blur and sharpen. Now, before we apply this effect to our footage, we need to do some quick setup. So I'm actually going to click to select my footage here and I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard. And while I hold down alt, I'm just going to click and drag up just like that to make a duplication in a video layer above my footage. Then I'm going to repeat that one more time. So select the top, alt, click, drag up. So we have two duplications over top of our footage. So once you have your clips set up like this, we're going to grab that directional blur and we're going to start by placing it on the very top clip, just like that. Now in the top left in your effect controls, we're going to open up our opacity here and we're going to open up directional blur. So to be able to see something here, let's take our blur length and just crank that up a bit. You can see how it kind of makes our video turn into these streaks. So let's go for maybe something around 120. And then for the direction, you want to turn this to the right so that these are sort of going to the left like this. Now all we need to do is change the blending mode for this footage. So up here under the opacity tab in our effect controls, go down to our blending mode. We can change that to something like screen. And you can already see a little bit of what we're doing here. We kind of have these light rays, but they're only going to the left. So let's repeat those exact same effects on the clip below that. So we're going to add directional blur onto this middle clip. And let's also change the blending mode for this middle clip here to screen. So in our effect controls under opacity, just change that blending mode to screen. Let's put our blur length to 120, just like the top clip. And this time we're going to take our direction. And if we click back here, you'll see that we put our direction on 37.9. So let's do the inverse of that on the bottom clip. So select the middle right here and let's take that direction and put it at negative 37.9. So the result that you see here is this sort of star X pattern with the lighting. Now you can leave it like this, but what I like to do is click and select both of these duplication clips. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to click nest. So we're pre-composing those two clips together into one. And now you'll see it goes very blurry. That's because whenever we nest something, it changes our blending mode back to normal. So select that nested clip and back in the top left in our effect controls, we want to change our blending mode back to screen. So the reason why we put it all in one clip, now if you're in your color workspace here, you can select that nested sequence and you can just go over to the right and you can change exposure, contrast, and pretty much hand tailor the look or just the stars. So the more exposure, the brighter this is gonna be. Again, these settings here really depend on the footage, depends on how much you want to be glowing. Now I'm gonna show you one more little trick here just to add a bit more twinkling animation to this. So let's just grab this nested sequence and just move that to the side for now. And what we're gonna do is just start from scratch. So I'm gonna do it a little bit faster this time because this is a beginner video. If you need to rewind the steps, you're more than welcome to, and then just use the timestamps to skip back. So I'm going to duplicate, duplicate. I'm gonna drop my directional blur onto both of those, change the blending modes back to screen, and then start adding some of this directional blur. So length is 120. Bottom length is 120, 40 for this direction and negative 40 for that direction. So we're back where we started with our star filter. 
Now what I'm going to do this time is just add a tiny bit of keyframe animation here so that these light rays are sort of rotating and twinkling. What you want to do is always start at the beginning of your clip. So I'm going to drag to the very beginning here. And then let's select our first duplication. So select the clip above. We're going to go over to where it says direction. And we're just going to click this button here to set a keyframe. And now let's drag to the very end of this clip. And what I'm going to do is click this directional number here, this negative 40. And in front of the negative, I'm just going to click 1x and then click. So what we just set here, one full rotation in the negative direction. So you see this keyframe here going to this keyframe here. And as I scroll along, if you pay attention, you can see how that's slowly going all the way down. And you can see how this is starting to rotate now, but only one of the light rays is rotating. So let's do that exact same animation to the top clip. So we're going to always, again, start at the very beginning, select the very top clip, and then under direction here, we're going to click to set our keyframe. You can see it right there. We're going to drag to the very end, and then we're going to click in front of that and just type 1x and then click away. So now these light rays are going to be rotating and twinkling. Here's some more footage with the exact same steps I showed you just to show you guys some variation. You guys can also go to your blending modes and just mess around. It doesn't always have to be on screen. So I hope you guys did enjoy this easy beginner tutorial. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to go into some 3D stuff next week. We're also going to get into some After Effects projects that I've been working on for a while, mixing 3D with real life, all that stuff. Subscribe if you guys are new here to see more content like this and comment down below what you'd like to see next. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting and I'll see you guys. In the next one.